Nika has had its fair share of morbid events, from Overzone's main storyline to the emotional roller coaster that was Miracle Snow. It almost feels as though each and every story we embark on can take a drastically dark tone at any moment, and School of Locke certainly is no exception. Upon first glance, the characters teased for this update and the artwork release showcases nothing more than a group of jovial students attending MMR's vocational school. For many, the story will be skipped entirely, buried in recollections until the eventual dismissal of this event. However, just like Miracle Snow, Overzone, and many other events before it, this event harbors a devious secret. I'm sure it won't surprise many that Miss Liss is behind yet another tragic story in Nike. They're no stranger to plunging people's lives into despair and agony, and with a CEO like Siwin, well, former CEO now, it's pretty obvious to see how evil some practices of this company are. This storyline, on the surface, follows the commander attending MMR Vocational School to be an examiner for the students during their finals period. The one odd thing is that all the students seem to be acquainted with the commander, but we can chalk it up to a timeline placement in the overall story. Receiving a letter from Marciana, the commander sets out to MMR to fulfill his role for the story. MMR, to the public, is a school that trains young Nige to be sharp and well equipped to be super soldiers of Missilis. Murmurs are heard of squads like Matisse being prepped at this academy to showcase Missilis's might, and to only produce the most capable and well rounded individuals at this academy. Though many seem prepared during the exam period, it seems like many are on edge, and for some, it feels as though all hope is lost. In this exam, there is a written and practical final. The written final essentially can be failed so long as a practical examination is passed. For some, the stress of the finals is too much to bear, and causes them to resort to unconventional methods to avoid it at all costs. Throughout the story of School of Locke, we find that this school is much more sinister than it appears. I'm just going to state this now, of course Aether is the one making the curriculum, I've hated Aether since the launch of Nikkei, and god, I just want to- <laughs> This facility is less of a school and more of a laboratory. Nikkeis are allotted three failed attempts at MMR's vocational school before they permanently become lab rats for Mitzlis' research staff. You heard me correct. If they fail three times, they're taken to a lab never to return. And if you thought that was morbid, each time a student fails the exam, they're reset and start again as a freshman forced to redo the entire process and be forced to test their fate during finals. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, if they're reset, surely their classmates would recognize them, right? Well, this would be an issue as this could cause a class to undergo a mind switch, so the lovely people at Miss List got you covered there! Each reset also is accommodated by an alteration of appearance, forcing those around the reset Nike to not recognize their old classmate. Marciana, in this story, is forced to watch all of this unfold. Being a teacher, she's only instructed to teach her students and do nothing more. She cannot fight back, she cannot speak out against her superiors, and she cannot alter the curriculum. Instead, she is forced to watch the students she love and care for so much, one by one, be plucked by MMR and taken to their facilities never to return. To become test subjects neither alive nor dead with their only purpose to test the newest groundbreaking materials Miss Liz has in the works. Marciana, through involving the commander, uses this as a form of retaliation against the ones who are unfairly using her students for their own personal gain. The practical exams normally take place on the surface, with commanders who are fresh out of the military academy and lack any skill in leading a group of Nike in a live combat scenario. Just like the Nike, the new commanders are also expendable to MMR. Marciana, knowing the fate of several of her students, attempted to circumnavigate this by altering an invitation to be sent to the commander instead. Knowing such a big celebrity would be visiting the campus, the higher-ups had no choice but to ensure no harm would come to someone so many people were aware of, and one that the central government also had high recognition for. No one would care if a no-name newbie commander were to be killed. However, if an incident were to occur on the surface resulting in our death, it would invoke a full uproar against MMR Vocational School, and subsequently, an internal investigation. Knowing this, the leaders of the Vocational School folded, and allowed us the opportunity to conduct the practical exams in the simulation rooms instead. Due to this, everyone in the main cast passed their exams and moved on to the next semester. But the same can't be said for the remainder of their class. 
the students with X marks on the splash art could very well be the ones who were reset or even sent to be lab rats in Miss Les's facilities. For Marciana, she's forced to comply with this twisted and unfair system, watching powerlessly as her students one by one are stripped away from her. At the end of exams, she's forced to input the students' names who have passed, failed, and those who are expelled, forced to the torment at the hands of MMR. Marciana is not a bad person, and honestly is subjected to a living cycle of hell. Only being able to reassure her students' success while helplessly watching them reset and return. Being at the mercy of MMR's curriculum, if they chose to, they could purposefully flunk an entire class if they wanted at the end of the day. And I hope one day this system will fall as the chapters progress. It's ironic how most of the heinous things we've seen in Nikkei, and yes, I'm including Crow, she's fucking from Missilis, come out of Missilis. Regardless of the placement of this event in Nikkei's timeline, I'm glad Siwen finally got what she deserved, and hopefully Ether is next. If you all enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next video. Janet.